Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. <coughs> Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this video, we're gonna learn about the exam questions. So we're gonna make a few videos because obviously we got a long list of questions. So slowly, we'll surely uh, we'll go through all the questions, and um, I'll link up the videos on the YouTube channel so you can watch a series of uh, videos. The first question it says a company adds a user to Microsoft 365. Uh, five, Existing user group do not have the required permission set for newly added users. You need to assign a Dynamic 365 Business Central user group and permission to the user and the company. So you need to arrange these five, how to do that. So that's the correct answer for that. So you would second one first, select the new users, uh, users from Microsoft 365 or update it. And then you go number three, create a user group, and then number one, select the user from user list. And, and number five, assign the user group to the user, and number four, assign the user group and uh, user to the company. Different people got different um, opinion for this question. So uh, in regards to exam, at least you got the question, so you can find out the answer as well. This question says uh, a company uses Dynamics 365 Business Central when users create sales document, the system must display an alert that shows the customer remaining credit. So for the credit alerts, you got a few options. So I won't read all of that. You can see the alerts there. Obviously, if you want to um, uh, obviously activate the alerts, you need to put both warnings. So in this case, we were asked to um, display two alerts. One alert is from here that shows the customer remaining credit and the second one uh, it must also notify the user if the customer has any overdue balances. So you can go to Business Central, Sales and Receivable Setup and you can select from there and you can select both warnings that, that will activate that. So the answer is uh, for this question is number three. Third question says you configure a cloud based printer in Dynamic 365 Business Central. Purchase order printed by user must automatically print to the cloud based printer. You need to create a setup record for the user report and printer combinations on which page you create the setup record. So we've got these options, then, and you can see that's a printer selection page where you manage printers, and so the option one is the uh, correct answer so it's the printer selection this question says you are implementing dynamics 365 business center online users must be added to business center for the first time so if you got these options so you go to users and you update users from microsoft 365 if you click that you will go to the next option and we will update uh, from uh, the user list uh, which is um, which is set up in a Microsoft um, admin center. Normally, you go to this page and obviously uh, this option and click uh, click on admin, and then you can go to the options where you can actually set up the users and emails and everything. So that's how it works. So you just need to go to that page, this page, and let's go back from there. The users, and then from users, you select uh, the users. So, which is option one, get new users from uh, Microsoft 365. Um, or no, the correct answer should be update users from th Microsoft 365. Yeah, that that's the one. So, the correct answer is number three. The next question says you set up a new company for a customer. The customer provides you with a Microsoft Excel file that contains master data. You need to import the master data by using configuration packages. So which option you're gonna choose? So we're gonna choose 5624. That means the first one should be create a configuration package, first of all. So on this page you can go and you can create a new package. Let's say you can click there. That will create a new package. So you put the code there, which which our G G D uh, code, etc and you put the name there, whichever and then you put all the details for the version or the person order etc and then you add data here as well or if you want to add tables you can add tables and you can 
uh, add back is that I am obviously and everything. I'm not going to go into too, too, too much details. If you want to see that, you can watch my channel videos which shows everything. So let's go back to the Word document. So the first one is number five, create a configuration package. And then let's say if we go back to the already created one, which is already created there. And then number six, uh, export an Excel template and upload the data. So you need to select wherever you want to export and then you export uh, to Excel. And yes, number six, export an Excel template and upload the data. So you take it outside the Visit Central, go to Excel, put the data there and publish it. And then number two, import probably the Excel template into the package data. So then you're going to import it from there. And then number four, after that, once you've got everything, you apply the data there or apply package. I'll keep the video nice and small so we're going to make a playlist of that on YouTube channel. So the next video will be after this. So I'll slowly put it on so we can understand Microsoft Business Central with the examples and questions as well. Thanks for watching.